There we go. Now that I didn't wipe it, you can see that fuzz. Hi everyone, welcome back. I have another routine video for you today, but this one's a little bit different because I'm gonna show you how to shave your face, AKA dermaplaning. This is for that soft vellus hair that you get on your face. We're gonna shave it. So I have had a ton of requests for this video, mostly people asking how to shave your face. I think they saw that Liza Koshy video and they were like, oh wait, she shaves her face and Susan says it's okay to shave the face? What? There are two ways to shave your face. One is to shave it in a traditional style, kind of like the way you would see a man shave with like a Gillette mock razor and stuff. And that's actually to remove the dark, thick hair, like if you have a beard or a real mustache. What I'm talking about today is more of a form of exfoliation. It's called dermaplaning, and it's when you use a razor on dry skin and you're trying to get the vellus hair off of your face. And the vellus hair is there to protect our skin. It's that peach fuzz, right? Some people have it thicker while other people have it really light. I have very light vellus hair. When you're also dermaplaning, you're removing that top layer of dry skin as well, but you have to do everything really gently because you don't want to go really close to your skin and you don't want to nick yourself because that really defeats the purpose. So what you're really trying to accomplish with this technique is to remove that vellus hair and that dry flaky skin that you have on top and expose fresh baby skin essentially. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. I don't know if it's out of laziness or something that I don't do this too often, but I do this maybe like once every six weeks. I use it so that I have smoother skin for my makeup, so I don't feel like I have too much texture. Texture is a normal part of having skin, so it's not that big a deal, but it really does make your face and your skin feel very smooth. You do have to take measures, and you guys will see, to take care of your skin afterwards, so. First things first, and that is choosing the right razor. Like I said, you can use a typical razor, but that's not what I would choose for this technique. There are different options out there. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. I have, you know, these, these are little tinkle razors. I think these are probably the worst ones, but they get the job done. They're not gonna last you very long. You pretty much have to toss them after one use. I prefer these by Shiseido, kind of the same concept. I feel like the razor is just a little bit better. And then there's this, which is an old school version of the Dermaflash. This is like the first iteration of it. It looks completely different now, but this is the one I have and you don't have to replace it once you get it. And, um, and I actually don't use the charging function of it anymore. I don't charge it anymore. And use a, it used to have like a vibration to it to really help you get deeper, but I don't really need it. I like that you can replace the razors really easily just like that. So this one's a really, really nice one, but honestly, my preferred one is this. All right, so it's morning time, and that's when I like to dermaplane my face. I choose days like, you know, like a lazy Sunday when I know I'm not gonna really do much outside besides play with my toddler a little bit, or, you know, maybe even just stay in and do absolutely nothing except sit on the sofa. I think that's the best time to do something like this, and you guys will see why later in the routine. You want your skin to be really dry, though. This is one of the times in your skincare routine where I'm gonna say, make sure your skin is dry and not damp. I took a shower just now, I washed my face, and I am letting it dry just naturally because I don't wanna have any excess sebum that built up overnight. Usually I'm okay with a little bit of that, but for dermaplaning, you don't want to have anything that's gonna get in the way. You want a nice, dry, clean slate, basically. So you let your skin dry and then you go for it. So I'm gonna get up really close here. I've never done this into a camera. I like to start right here. And what I do is I take it and you're going in a downward motion. That's really important. And you're not, you know, obviously not trying to slice your skin and you're holding it, I've heard people say like in a 45 degree angle. So I guess that's what you're doing. I just make sure it's slanted and I am going at an angle and I'm going down in little strokes, just like that. And I'm not pressing hard at all. That is not the point. If you cut yourself or bleed, you did something wrong because that is not what you're supposed to do. So I always go here, because this is where I have the most vellus hair, is kind of in this area, I think a lot of us do. I avoid my sideburns. I don't, don't at all get my sideburns, because that's not the point again. So I'm going in a downward motion. I like to pull my skin taut, just to make sure, again, because I don't want to nick my skin. And you can see that fuzz. Can you see that fuzz? I keep a little rag right here to just take off some of that fuzz, and then I pull it very gently. Everything is gentle. It does not have to be a long routine. You can just go really fast with it. Once you get the hang of it, you tend to go really fast with it, except when you get to tricky areas.
This is a little bit of a tricky part. If you want to get your mustache, you can. I do it because I have just peach fuzz there mostly. Sometimes I'll get like a little, a little hormonal dark one, but for the most part, I just have peach fuzz. So I use this because I'm not gonna get that, you know, that thick five o'clock shadow or anything like that. If you have thick hair, I don't recommend this because it is going to feel like it's thick and uncomfortable later. So keep that in mind also. This is really truly for peach fuzz. You have to be really careful when you start to get to different angles. Like I saved my nose for the last part of it and I don't do my full nose because then you can actually nick yourself. So you wanna be really careful with that. So sometimes you have to turn it a different way. And then I actually go up to my forehead. That's where I get a lot of flakiness on my skin. See that build up right there? <sighs> it's really hard to show it to you. I don't do this area. I don't feel like I need to. I don't think I need to get crazy. I do go down my forehead. I don't really pull my forehead taut because it's pretty taut. And then I go over to the other side. Once you're done, you're done with an area. You don't wanna go back because that's when you can cause some irritation. My skin feels nice. I'm not trying to get everything off all at one time. If I missed a place, it's fine, unless it's like a big patch, but I usually don't. There we go. Now that I didn't wipe it, you can see that fuzz. So it is feather strokes, really light strokes. I'm barely pressing to my skin. It's, it's a very, very gentle, like I'm just going like this. It's like, like that, with the sounds too. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the tricky parts this area right here. It does help with your pores. Again, you don't want to go in there and use this as your main form of unclogging your pores, but you can get in this area. So you have to be very careful. And then I just go over here on the side of my nose. Just like that. So I'm done. I'm done dermaplaning. It's that easy. You guys saw the entire thing. I think people that get really intense with it, that's when you run into issues. You don't want to get really intense. You don't want to sensitize your skin. My skin feels great. I'm just going to rinse it off really quick. Next up, I always love to use some sort of like a hyaluronic acid serum. This one's by Vichy. This is mineral 89. What I think is great about this one is it has a ton of minerals in it. It has antioxidants in it. There's soothing water in it. So I think that that's great for your skin. Hyaluronic acid just feels great for the skin in general. So I just put a couple drops with while my skin is still damp. And then I press it in. It feels nice and light. And almost like you're putting a gel-like water on your skin, which is the point. That's how it should feel. And it's not sticky. All right, so something to think about is after you have dermaplaned your face, your skin is nice and smooth and exfoliated and ready to take on some active ingredients. I know that it can sound kind of scary because you're like, well, I just exfoliated, should I really? But if you were gentle with your skin, you absolutely should use this opportunity to use some actives. This is one of my favorite products from my line Naturium. It is the Vitamin C Super Serum Plus, and I have had so many questions about it ever since I first mentioned it. I understand it can be a very intimidating product because it has some superstar ingredients in it. It has vitamin C, the L-ascorbic acid, retinol, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid all together. And some of these are ingredients that people think that they can't mix together, but Here's the thing, they actually work amazingly together if they're either formulated correctly or your skin can tolerate it. In this case, 
they're formulated correctly. They're formulated beautifully. This is a wonderful formulation. The vitamin C in here, the l ascorbic acid, is encapsulated, which will really help keep it stable. And because it's encapsulated, it will slowly release on your skin. The pH of this also happens to be at a pH that won't irritate your skin. So that is also something to keep in mind. It will just be amazing. You'll get all the benefits from l ascorbic acid without the irritation, and it'll actually be stable when it hits your skin. The retinol in here is BHT free. It is also encapsulated and it actually doesn't even activate until you press it to your skin and you actually start to rub. Together, they work amazingly. They're both antioxidants. They're both gonna help stimulate collagen in your skin. And we know that there are so many benefits that you get from vitamin C and from retinol. There's also niacinamide in here, which I think is an amazing ingredient for all skin types. It is brightening. It is strengthening for your skin. It's anti-inflammatory. And it's also not going to give your skin that flushing if you ever get that from niacinamide. This is actually formulated at a really perfect pH level for your skin so you don't get that flushing. The salicylic acid in this, it is in there for a little bit of exfoliation, yes, but it's truly in here for its anti-inflammatory properties because it also has that. So together again, they all work really well. The hyaluronic acid is just gonna help to smooth and plump your skin and hydrate it. So you can use this morning and night because the retinol is also photostable. You can use this at night as your active ingredient, or you could use this as your morning serum. I love what this does. This is a superstar product. Superstar ingredients for a superstar product. Next up, I wanna protect my skin after that deep exfoliation from dermaplaning, so I'm going in with this. It's by La Mer. You guys know I bought this for a video. I'm going to use it. I have been using it, and I'll tell you, I've been enjoying that. Check it out. You know, moisturizer is also there for protection of your skin and it's locking in all of those amazing ingredients that you just put on, like I did with the Super Serum. So I'm gonna press this into my skin. It's really thick, but then it feels like water dispersing on your skin afterwards. As you press it in, it's really nice. And then the last, probably most important step in this entire routine after dermaplaning, it's probably the most important step in your morning routine always, but especially after dermaplaning, because again, you exposed your skin, you removed that vellus hair, so you have to use sunscreen. I like to use something like this, it's really strong. This is by La Roche-Posay. I actually have this more so when I'm gonna be outside. This is the kind of sunscreen I put on when I'm gonna be outside for a very long time. Like I'm gonna be at the pool or I'm gonna be hanging out at the park with my child, something like that. That's when I use something like this. This is SPF 60. It's fragrance free, it's water resistant. It's been tested on sensitive skin. So for people that prefer physical sunscreen because they feel like a chemical sunscreen is going to irritate their skin. This one I find is not irritating at all. I put a large amount of it. So I squeeze a good amount into my hand to start. And I'm going to put this all over my face because I need the protection. I'm gonna wear a hat if I step outside today because I also have all those wonderful ingredients working on my skin. So I don't want anything to, to mess up what I just did. I did some amazing stuff to my skin just now. I'm gonna get that into my hairline actually. Make sure it's on my nails. So I'm a tank top and bring it down. I obviously have a white cast. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while. It tells me also where I put it. And I'm not gonna sweat this because I'm probably not gonna wear makeup today at all. I'm not gonna see anybody besides my family. It will actually dry off, so don't let this freak you out. This is a wonderful sunscreen in my opinion. There are other La Roche-Posay ones that will leave a major white cast on your skin, but this one eventually just turns into a glowy look on your skin. So I am done. I am going to go take this out. I've left my hair and my towel way longer than I wanted to, but it was all for the video. Um, I hope this was informational for you guys. I hope you learned a little something about dermaplaning and you give it a try if you're curious about it. It's definitely great for your skin if you're good to your skin and you're gentle. That's truly, that's always my takeaway, I think. It's to be gentle with your skin and wear your sunscreen and use your retinol and your vitamin C. <laughs> but I hope this was helpful. Not everybody has to do it, but if it does work for you, it really is a great way to exfoliate your face. Tell me in the comments below what other types of videos you wanna see. I'll leave links to purchase all of these products. Find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.